Hello everyone, I'm at Sofia airport and today on the travel list I'm going to bring you on a weekend getaway to Italy. So let's go! This, but this trip did not start as planned. I somehow arrived at the wrong terminal. <laughs> so I had ran to grab a taxi to bring me to the other terminal. Thank God the check-in was still open so that I can check my documents. And now I went through the security check and I'm going to the gate. This day just gets better and better. Somehow they didn't scan my ID at the, on the security control. <laughs> so when I gave my boarding pass, they like put me aside and like I had to wait for a security personnel to come and check my ID. In order to travel to Italy, I had to do a COVID test before departure, fill out an online form, which gave me a QR code, as well as a few other locator forms on paper. Although the airline did send all of this information per email, there were a lot of passengers not aware of it, thus we had a lot of queues on the check-in desk and by arriving in Italy as well. On arrival, I waited about one and a half hours to get to the front of the line and show them my printed out QR code for 10 seconds. From then on, I waited another hour for a transfer bus to Milan and arrived about three hours later than planned. Made it. Ciao, Bella. <laughs> After my friend Stacy met me at Milano Centrale, we head out to her boyfriend's apartment where we had a few drinks on the balcony. They made us some really good Italian homemade pasta and had dinner together. After that, we went out to an Erasm party. So this is for the vlog? This is for the vlog. We were just at an Italian house party with lots of Erasm students, Italian students and students, students from all over the world. And now we're going home. Good morning from Milan. We woke up like super early, 6 a.m. because we have to catch the train to Genoa. And now we just took our suitcases and we'll go and grab something to eat, a coffee. And then we're going straight to the train station and like take the early train. It's gonna be fun to live today on two hours of sleep, but you know, it's worth it. It's Italy, right? Come on. So guys, if I tell you that there weren't any train tickets for our train, would you believe me? <laughs> so we're having a brioche with uh, pistachio and a cappuccino. And we're gonna chill in Milan until the noon. Five hours. Sorry. Five hours. Yeah, we'll probably go somewhere, but... <laughs> so we left our suitcases. Uh, at the train station and uh, now we're heading to Milano center and we're gonna just walk a bit wander around explore and then we're gonna come back to the train station and catch our train to Genova so let's go So, we are right now at the Piazza della Scala. Uh, Stacy had to sit down and finish some uni work because we missed our train and she had to do some stuff for the university and some projects. That's the entrance to the gallery. We're gonna visit that in a sec. The Galleria Vittorio Emanuele is Italy's oldest active shopping gallery and a major landmark of Milan. It was designed in 1861 and built by architect Giuseppe Mengoni. Yeah. 
Lord. We are at the Galeria de Vittorio Emanuele, the famous gallery in Milan, which I've always imagined it to be bigger than this, but it's quite impressive. There's Gucci and Prada in Europe and a lot of other nice shops, so quite nice. Wow, here it is, the famous cathedral, you just like walk out of the gallery and boom, it hits you, it's there. So we're gonna get a few pictures of course for Instagram because if you haven't been here, if you haven't posted a photo of this place <laughs> on Instagram and then we're gonna go and grab some ice cream slash gelato. And the whole square is like, look at it. It's just marvelous. So, <laughs> we took gelato from this place. Stacy recommended it. Yeah, it's super nice. Super nice. It smells so good. And now we're gonna try it. We're headed back to the railway station to get our train to Genova. We're gonna see each other from the train then. Traveling by train is probably the most popular option to get around in Italy. It's fast, there are very good connections, and the trains are new and clean. However, they are a bit pricey. We made it! So guys, we are finally in Genova. We are already at Stacy's apartment. It's very nice, it's very cute. The view is just like typical, like Italian, like the view that you're getting from Instagram and, and from Pinterest. Right now, she's finishing up some uni stuff, and I'm making us some mocha, or at least I'm trying to make because I've never done this in my life before. But uh, yeah, we're gonna chill a bit, and then we're gonna get ready and hit the town and see what's up in Genova. So for now, take a moment to admire this. So, I'm already out and about in the city. I got dressed, I got dressed. Stacy went to the university to finish this project thing that she has. And I am on a mission. She sent me to a San Lorenzo Cathedral in the city center to search for something to eat. I don't know, something fast. Like the pastry things that they have here in Italia, like pastizzi or something else. Um, and I'm right now somewhere in the city center heading towards that cathedral and see if I'm gonna find it. So, come on. So, here we are at the cathedral, and somewhere here I'm going to find focaccia or something like that. Okay, this looks very promising. I got a focaccia, it, it was like 80 cents. Now I'm gonna try it. Like this. It's nice, but you know everything's nice when you're hungry, so I was really so hungry. I ate it all. I got like the normal basic focaccia. And then I decided <laughs> I should get another slice, so I got another focaccia on the go. Strolling through Genoa, the capital of the Italian region of Liguria and the sixth largest city in Italy, I was quite in love. 
The city's area of Genoa has been inhabited since the 5th or 4th millennium BC, making it one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in the world. The old town is one of the largest and most densely populated in Europe. Part of it is also inscribed on the UNESCO list. It's quite pretty. So guys, this fountain in this Piazza di Ferrari is very nice. I think it's one of the most famous attractions here in the old town. And I just sat down because I've walked 19,000 steps today. That's what my fitness bracelet is telling me. So that's about 14 kilometers already. And I am still hell hungry. So I'm just going to eat the other focaccia that I got. I'm not gonna bring it home because I think that I'm gonna die of hunger any moment now. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna eat this with a very nice view. I was actually using Google Maps trying to find a DM here because I need to buy some stuff. And I just bumped coincidentally into another like uh, feature of the old town of Genova. And I am just going to cross there so I can take a look, take a few photos and also show you what it's about. But it looks very interesting by the way. Look at that. That's so cool. The city of Genoa, during its long history, and at least since the 9th century, has been protected by different line of defensive walls. Large portion of these walls remain today. I found the Porta Soprana, which was one of the gates of entry to the city, very impressive. I am now going back to the apartment because Stacey is probably going to finish soon at the university and I have the keys. <laughs> so uh, I'm navigating again with Google Maps and I think I'm just going through the main pedestrian area of the city. I mean, it looks like that, so I'm gonna show you how it actually looks. So tonight is to get back to the apartment get ready we are then going to go to a restaurant to eat dinner and then after we have dinner we are going to go with some of Stacy's friends to a bar Tonight, I'm going to sleep so, 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 so good. You have no idea. With last night's only two hours sleep, and today's already 19 kilometers of walking. And I'm pretty sure, because I'm not back, back yet, maybe when I get back, it, it will be 20. And then from then on, we have to go out again. Oh my god, today I'm gonna do like probably 25 kilometers of walking. That's a lot, guys. That's really a lot. <laughs> Thank you for watching the first part of my Italian vlog. I will be uploading the second part where we visit the famous Portofino very soon, so subscribe to my channel to get notified. Lots of love, Valentina.